Well, if you haven't heard about artificial intelligence yet, or AI, you will. It's all the talk in educational circles because students can use it in a bunch of different ways, a ways unfortunately, includes cheating. A local district held a meeting to try and get ahead of the problem. CBS 58's Frank Keeley reports. What is the concept of AI as it relates to cheating? That's certainly what's front and center right now. Superintendent Stephen Plum of the Kettle Moraine School District says school administrators within his district held a meeting last week about how to address the explosion of AI in regards to cheating and how students will be using the technology in the future. They're being exposed to it. They have, and there's access to it. So we have to allow them to understand it and use it in a positive way. McGee Elementary School principal Justin Neese's students will be graduating in the mid 2030s. He says the wrong approach is to lock out new potential tools from the classroom when his students could be graduating into a future where they use AI every day. And if you're not talking about it and you're saying don't do it, then we're opening a door for people to use the tool in a way that's negative. The popular AI platform ChatGPT is, by its own admission, not considered a reliable resource for academic writing, but Plum says that some academic programs are already incorporating ways to use it as a citation, and his own district is requiring students to cite AI if it's used. If you're representing ideas that aren't yours, then you have to cite those. It's quite simple. Plum says there are always concerns when new tools are being introduced in educational environments. He says the same way calculators can help students look at bigger picture mathematical ideas, AI could end up doing the same. If this is about writing, then conceptually we might think about writing differently in the future. For now, Plum says he thinks vigilant teachers will be able to ask questions when they feel like students' writing isn't from their true human perspective. And that's something AI hasn't cracked. And I just don't see it getting to that point yet. Kettle Moraine and many other districts know they'll have to keep on top of this swiftly growing technology. Frank Healy, CBS 58 News.